It's finally cabin season. We've had so many of you reach out asking about cabin properties, what to look for prior to buying a cabin, financing a cabin, and so much more. We thought it'd be a great idea to shoot a quick video that outlines our tips and recommendations for finding that perfect cabin. First and foremost, the location. This should play a huge role when you're deciding on a cabin property. For instance, the commute time. You're going to want to consider how long it will actually take you to drive to the cabin on a busy Friday night when everyone else is making the trek as well. Don't do this on a Wednesday. I recommend driving the route on a weekend after work and really gauging what the commute will be like. Also consider if you'd prefer to be close by amenities, close by a town, or would you prefer to be more off-grid. Some people love to be close to local restaurants, resorts, grocery stores, etc. Others prefer to feel completely secluded where they're completely escaping away from all of it. You need to think about what would be best for you, your lifestyle, your family, if you're gonna be having friends come up, family come up and visit, what's gonna work best for everything. One last thing when it comes to the location, would you prefer to be on a lake, a river, not on a body of water at all? So those are all things to consider. This will help shape how you utilize your cabin property, those things. Second thing to consider is the lake characteristics. Now, we most commonly have clients who hope to find a lakefront property. So if you're in the same boat, there are a few things you wanna consider when choosing a lake to be on. Um, important thing is the size of the lake. Do you want something small and private where there's no public access? Or would you like to be on a bigger lake with tons of recreational opportunities, restaurants to boat to, maybe things to do, sandbars, things like that. Um, or do you wanna be on a chain of lakes? So something like up in the Cross Lake area where you can boat to different lakes, go to multiple restaurants on different lakes. All things to consider about the type of lake. You also have to think about the clarity and cleanliness of the lake. This is huge. Be sure to check if the lake is weedy, um, if it has any cleanliness issues, contamination issues. We recommend searching um, Lake Finder on the Minnesota DNR website uh, to research the lake prior to looking at properties on that lake. It will give you a good idea of what's going on with the lake. Um, boat traffic on the lake. Are you hoping to be on a happening party lake or do you want to be on a lake that's nice and quiet? Third thing to consider when purchasing a cabin are the lot characteristics. The lot size. Some clients prefer a smaller, manageable lot, um, less to maintain. Others want a bigger lot, maybe some acreage, area for out entertaining, uh, outbuildings, uh, maybe some hunting land. You need to consider all those things. So be sure to picture what type of lot you envision and what you're gonna be doing on that lot. Do you dream about a lot with a gorgeous shade, lots of trees, or do you picture kind of a big open lot, green yard, big open views out to the water? If you do plan on building and it's a more tree-filled lot, we also suggest you're gonna to need to consider the cost of clearing the lots to put in the driveway and the home. So things to consider. And on the note of building, make sure that you have your perfect lot chosen before you design the home. The design of the home will be based off of what type of lot you have, down to the elevation, soil, all those things. Speaking of elevation, also consider if you'd like to have a flat lot that's easier to walk out to the lake, or do you prefer to have a higher elevation where you're gonna have really great views of the lake? The direction of the lot is also, also really important. Do you want sunrises, sunsets? Again, they're all personal preferences, but things to think about. The fourth and final thing to consider is the financials. Not always the most fun thing to think about, but very important. You're gonna to have to keep in mind that purchasing a second home is not the same as purchasing a primary residence. Often you're going to need a higher down payment and your interest rate could be higher. So those are all things that are going to play, in, play into this. So we always recommend getting pre-approved with the lender before looking so that you have a realistic gauge of what your price range is gonna be. You know what you're comfortable spending each month for an additional mortgage. This will also allow you to act quickly on making an offer if we do find the perfect cabin or lot, you'll be able to jump on it right away if you're all pre-approved. You're also going to want to figure out a budget and consider every possible cost. You're going to have another mortgage, you're going to have home insurance, taxes, utilities. Are you going to want to be mowing the lawn? You're going to hire someone to mow the lawn. You're going to have snow care in the winter for snow removal. 
Um, you're gonna have the cost of putting in a dock. If you want a boat, you're gonna have to probably buy furniture for the property. So all things to consider. I also think it's a great idea to rent a cabin in the area on the lake or in the area of the town that you wanna be in. It's an amazing, great way to figure out if you like the area and um, you get to experience it for a week. You're not just going up there and looking at the houses, you're actually living in the area for a week and trying to understand if you really like it and it's where you wanna be. We hope these tips were helpful. As always, feel free to reach out if you ever need any help finding the perfect property or have general questions about purchasing a second home or any home, we're here to help. I'm Julie DeRoche with DeRoche Realty Group and we would love to help you.